for you. We all know being a sperm donor makes a man a biological dad. Okay, that's right. Father. But does it make him financially responsible for the child as well? Many women in same-sex relationships who want to start families look for a sperm donor. For Jana Minns and Deborah Morantz of Santa Fe, New Mexico, Kevin Zernig was their man. In 1994, Jana gave birth to a boy. According to court documents, the lesbian couple and the donor dad came to an agreement. The women would be primary custodians of the child, but Kevin would serve as a male role model, and he would not be financially obligated to support the child. But within months, the same-sex partnership broke up. And in the aftermath of the split, Jana kept custody. She and Kevin stayed friends, and he even fathered a second child for her. He always um, was present in the children's lives. Really what I would consider a smooth and really kind of supportive uh, relationship in terms of the kids. A similar agreement was reportedly reached for him to donate sperm for the second child. And once again, he would be a male role model, but not have financial obligations. But for the last eight years, Jana and Kevin have been involved in a court battle. A bitter dispute initiated when Jana suddenly sought child support payments from Kevin for both children. He argued, in part, that he was not required to pay any child support because he was a sperm donor. Jana felt Kevin was both sperm donor and doting dad, and as such, obligated to pay child support. He wasn't interested in um, the accompanying responsibility to provide financial support for the kids. It's not supposed, technically not supposed to be too, but basically, if you want to see your kids, you better pay. So how did this legal drama end? The court ruled that because Kevin has taken an active role in raising the children, he is liable for child support. Joining us to discuss this, whoa, Father's Advocate Glenn Sachs is back with us today. Also, Attorney Enrico Mirabelli, he's tackled this very issue in court. Child Advocate Attorney Stovall and Reproductive Attorney Melissa Brisman. I got, uh, Glenn, I got to say, it seems... You know, a lot of people would say that Kevin now, the dad, the, the donor dad here, is kind of being punished for sticking with the contract. Yeah, I mean, he did the right thing. He upheld the, the agreement. And not only that, he's been uh, kind enough and loving enough to have been a, a part of these children's lives for 14 years, been supporting them for 14 years, uh, uh, helping to raise them, having them in his home every weekend and over the summers and all the you know, financial burdens mm -hmm. that come with that. Uh, and then uh, here the, the, the mother uh, likes to, to rhapsodize about what a wonderful daddy is, and it's so great, and now here's an invoice. But then, you know, you, but how much time did they say that he would spend, and then you start to create this relationship? It's like, isn't he kind of having his cake and eating it too? He is. He's a father. You cannot ha be a part-time father. With being a father comes rights and responsibilities. But they period. did sign a contract. They signed a contract at the beginning that said he would serve as a role model. This man has not been a role model. His whole life has shown the behavior after the contract has been an intent to be a father. No, he's he, being a good role model. No, he said he was going to do. He has been done. a dad legally. As he registered with Vital Statistics as a dad, you can't register as a dad with the Department of Health and then say you're not the dad. You don't want to pay for the child. But, right, but, but whether whether he's even if you want to consider him the father or whatever, and that's fine. How does it logically say that he should be paying her? child support. It's not like they were together for Every ten... father has to pay child support. No, no, support. no, 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 no. And that's yes. the problem can right we, there. Wait, wait. Can we take away the word pay? Because when you take care of your child, that is not pay. It's not a coat. And the he, child and he, deserves and he's been taking support. Care of his Enrico, child for children for 14 Glenn, let's, years. Let's talk about this legally. Does it set a bad precedent? A bad precedent. And, and what the ladies are missing here is that they made a contract and you have to stick to the contract. They knew he was going to be a role model. And, and you, know, you can't, you can't change the goalposts. It's not enforceable. Just because you write it down on a piece of paper doesn't mean that it's a, a supportive well, of the contract. Just because a woman promises something doesn't mean that she should have to yeah, follow but, it up. You know, this, you this can't be doesn't mean she can't just turn crime. around and knife the guy in the back when it's convenient. Rip it up. If I was going to get involved in something like this or I was thinking about it, on either side, I would definitely have reservations now because you, there is a contract that was True. signed. It's null and void now and the man is being... I think that you have to continue to look at what the party's intended. You talk about setting a bad precedent. What about... The, you know these children are going to be parents one day. What about the precedent of someone who acts as daddy? He didn't serve as a role model. He was daddy all these 
these years and then think that he doesn't have to pay support. You're setting a precedent no, for these children to believe the that fathers shouldn't pay support? Here, here's the problem with court. There's a contract. People make contracts for adoptions. We live with contracts. Yes. We're a country of laws. If you make a contract and you agree and then the court sets it aside, Guess consenting what? adults Guess aren't what? going to be able courts to have allow, these contracts. Courts Nobody allow contracts this. to be modified. A modification requires that both parties do something different. The difference here is he got to be a father. He got to have visitation. He got to have a say in the child's life. You know, you All of his like time. And therefore, people. get to pay support. You too. act like he's scamming people because he loves he's these children and that. has been taking care yeah, of them. He should and he take has care been of them. supporting them for 14 years. A father's not he just a check. He should support lady. them. A father is not just a check. I would no, advise friends don't let friends be sperm donors. <laughs> well, well, no, because then, no, I'm, I disagree with you. Be in this case, into anything by the law. Under New Mexico law, yeah. you have to go to a doctor. You can't but, do it in your kitchen. Well, it's an interesting case. No, I have a question about it, Juliet. There are other cases like this one being debated right now. You can log on to our website at mnjshow.com, and you can get some more links to all these uh, cases. Don't go away. We're going to be right back.